This is part two of the video on the 1998 Sportsman 500 where the compression release is not working. <clears throat> we have found the problem and we were pretty sure we found the problem. We took and cleaned the motor up real well and uh, we took the side plate off and uh, the valve cover off and we made sure that the piston was at top dead center on the firing stroke and in this case we were able we were still able to rattle the exhaust valve lifters up and down showing that the uh, compression release was not working so then <coughs> We have a spare set up here. And we noticed that this. We have a spare set up here, mm -hmm. and here you have a situation. Let's go around around here where we got some light. I'm kind of. I need to come over here. Okay. Here we have a situation of what we had. When when this thing is at rest and the engine's not working, this this counterweight here needs to be held up against that. That's, stop that pin. spring supposed to and do the, it. The spring is supposed to do it. Well, the spring is too weak from the factory, and they'll sell you a hundred springs, yep. and they might or might not work. They won't work. <laughs> so what we did is take this thing out. Now this is a spare cam here. We took the spring out, and we, before you do this, go ahead and mark your white spot on your spring and on your cam, so you know how it goes back together and we, we grabbed the spring with two needle nose pliers and we and unwound it some more, thereby making it have more tension. Right. Now this spring we did not fix. We, this is the spring that was in there. We left that alone. Uh, but the new spring... Oh. Well, at any rate, we won't mess with that anymore. But here is the new spring and the new uh, set up installed in the engine and no matter where we position this thing this this here lobe right here is always up against this the spring works. Uh, the spring works and is holding that up against here until the engine starts rotating uh, under under its own power if this if this is loose here at any time when your when your engine is not running uh, you don't have enough spring pressure on here to give you compression so, release. So it's it's a very it. cheesy design and these uh, Polaris engineers should be beat. That is my opinion. So um, remember you've got to have good tension on this here uh, dowel pin here and this face right here. Uh, that's why the book mentions the deflection. Maybe you're supposed to bend the spring. Yeah, the you book know? mentions a certain amount of deflection. The book doesn't tell you you're supposed to hand rework their stupid springs that they sell you. So uh, be aware of this here. And uh, we're going to put this all back together. And uh, hopefully we'll make part number three where we start to uh, work it. Right now we've got the uh, thing installed. And the ball is uh, contacting the uh, cam follower and I have no uh, play in my valves at all which tells me that the valves are being held open right. thereby can, having compression and release. And you can tell that you can press on that and it ain't moving. And we can't right. move this now because that ball is is under tension and locked up. So that's the, the story on this. Once again this is a 1998 Polaris Sportsman 500 and there will probably be a part three of this video.